Hi there, this is Mega Supreme here with a Transformers toy review. I'm having a look at a third party piece uh, which is by TFC. This is their H02 Thanatos and uh, this is the second in the series. I've kind of done all the reviews kind of back to front um, but I will be published them in order so you can go through and review each figure in the series. I've done four of the figures so far. Um, so uh, it should be good and uh, just show you all the stuff that he comes with uh, it comes with this collector's card here and there's his uh, stats at the back there he comes with his little uh, partner here which is him in his kind of like uh, chest form there and transforms into an animal and then into a gun which we'll show you and then you've got his instructions here which shows you transform to robot to vehicle mode and then from a vehicle mode to combined mode and then you can see the transformation of the, uh, the his little partner here and then you've got the box as well um, so nice box opens up you can see on the back there shows the uh, three different ways that you can have him and then also with his uh, front piece on here as well uh, that's pretty much it for that bit. Um, you can, in uh, vehicle mode here, the turret and it goes all the way around. Uh, this, does it spin around? No, it doesn't. This bit moves up and down. These move individually and you can sort of move them around like this as well. This bit moves around at the front here as well. And you don't have any wheels on the bottom there. You do have uh, a port for a weapon, so you could either pop him in like that if you wanted to, and have him just sitting on there, or you could transform him into his weapon mode, which let's have a look, I can't remember exactly how it goes. Uh, it's been a little while since I've had a play around with this one. Have a look. Where does it show it? I'm not sure if it does actually. Let's just have a look at the bits on the back there. Yes, yeah, so I think you've got it. One bit. It'll go down like that. This bit will go down like that as well. This bit will go in like that, and what it looks like, and then these bits will come up like that. Form the gun mode. No, I don't know if it'll actually plug up on like that. I don't think it will, but it'll be able to hold it in his hand. Okay, and you could, in theory, have it out like that if you wanted to. Plug it on like that. Um, this bit kind of gets in the way a little bit though. If you've got it, got the legs out like that. But that's how the uh, how it's in its gun mode, and then transform it into beast mode. I'm gonna fold these out like so. Like that. Have fold this tail out. This in like that, and then you've got him in his little beast mode. Quite cool. I think that's pretty decent. Um, translucent eyes as well, so you can get some light piping going through there. Um, articulation of the legs and move here and there. Tail moves. These little feet move as well, and you can move them out. The head moves up and down as well. Okay. So you've got that. <coughs> I've added a, a repro label on the front here. So you can see he's a Decepticon. Um, transforming him. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. Um, right, so unpeg this bit. This case should be a case of just kind of unplugging a lot of things here and there. Unplug these bits. Unpeg these. Open up the feet like that. Fold these out. 
card these out like so take them in together like that uh, I think I may have to change some of the bits at the bottom there actually because these bits have to go a bit further up so let's open this bit up here and then open this bit up at the back here and so we need to kind of push this bit up so we want to push it like that let's see if we can get it in so kind of push it through this hole here again get it so this all lines up as well at the same time which is a lot trickier quite tricky to do there we go so we folded all of that in and that should that should then fold in uh, so let's get hold of this foot here might be that we just need to push this bit down and in again like that so let's push that through again In like so, and then let's see if we can fold it down. There we go. <laughs> so it's not the easiest thing to do, uh, for sure. And yeah, so you've got his leg like that, and obviously you have to do the same with the other one. What I'll do is I'll concentrate on all the rest before I come back and do the other leg and pull these bits off here. swap his arm out that kind of comes in swivels round like so you can then get hold of these bits here and they should swivel out of the way there we go like that. like that and they'll move like that to the front like so to get them out of the way so you can see how he's starting to form here this uh, piece here and uh, let's have a look opens up like this pull this open like that you're gonna pull this to one side these bits will then close up around here and um, before the head grab the head from here a second just hidden in here a sec. Yeah, and then these bits here plug into the back like that. And that keeps the these bits uh, equal distance apart. Like these bits go into here, like this bit here, and then this bit comes forward, plugs into there like that. For the back here, you can fold this bit in and bring the guns up or bring them up like that if you want to. So you can have them showing like that. I think this bit opens up here at the back you can fold this kind of radar equipment away like so the arms then open up
fold the arms out like so, and take them back in. Same on this side. Back in like that. And now I've got the mission of trying to get the other leg like this leg. So let's have a little look. So uh, first thing, open up this bit here. And basically we want to kind of try and move everything up into that space there. So let's, so I should be able to just kind of shove it up like that. I think that's probably the easiest way to do it. Rather than messing around the way I was doing it before. Let's soon find out if I can get that in there like that or not. It's trying to get this bit back in which is quite tricky as well. quite done it on this side. So that bit needs to be straight. Before then we can plug all of that out. So that was getting in the way there. Like <clears throat> and then let's see if we can peg it all down into place. His feet in like that. You can then tuck these bits round and have them like that. And you then got him in his robot mode. So yeah, pretty cool looking uh, robot mode. Kind of about the size of a, a Voyager, combined Wars Voyager, say. Um, pretty cool. And then obviously you can get hold of this guy here then and get him transformed. So I'll show you the kind of gun mode thing first. So pull these bits up like that. These ones are gonna come down to fold that bit in like like that, I think. Ah uh, no, I've got it run the other way. So these bits go down and then this this bit goes up. These ones go up like so from what I can see like that. And then he can just hold that in his hand like that. So he's got a little blaster in his hand. I'll take that out and then fold it all back up. So, and then you've got your kind of chest piece here, like that. Pegs from there onto there, and then you've got him like that. Which actually, I think I, he looks better without it. Actually, um, some of the other ones look better with, but I think he looks better without it. Um, articulation on these guys is pretty decent. You, their head can kind of go all the way around. It's on a ball joint, so you can look up a little bit and down, side to side. With all of these, they've got light piping coming through, so red light piping. Um, the arms, if I move these guns out of the way, you can go all the way around. Move it out. You've got a swivel there, bend here and you can move the hands around as well. You do have waist articulation there as well. You can move the leg up and back, move it out as well. You've got a bend in the knee there as well. You've got this little foot thing that kind of moves around. So, but uh, yeah, he's pretty, pretty decent and you've got the guns which you can move around at the back there. 
So yeah, I, I quite like him. He's like a. <clears throat> I don't know too much about the Lyokaza, um combiners uh, figure set um, and the characters that go with it. So I don't know too much about them, but I think this is a, a decent enough toy. Um, and then all we'll do from here is we'll get him transformed into his uh, combined mode, which is a foot, um, and then we'll get him uh, combined and added um, onto the other one as well. Uh, so we'll just have a look at that. So we'll get that done for you now. One quick thing, just before I show you the combined mode, I actually had his feet right the wrong way. I didn't like that um, when they're actually supposed to be like that, just in case I, I hadn't got that right on the review. So I'm putting them back like that for the combined mode because I'm going to transform them back to tank. So I'll transform them back to tank off camera and then we'll come back and we'll transform them into combined Right, okay, so we've got him in his vehicle mode. Uh, now what we're going to do is get him into his combined mode. So you start with him off like this. Um, you can do it either way around, but I normally then um, pull this bit up here. So that actually pegs in at the top here, so you want to unpeg that. So you can then see the, the combiner port in here. So do it like that if you want to. And then these bits from the side here are going to come out as well. Um, and they kind of pull out. Like that, I think. So they come out like that. Same on the other side. From what I can see, like that. So I think that's supposed to look like a kind of knee bit, I'm not sure. Um, and then you want to unfold, get the legs, fold them out, so pull these bits up. These bits are going to come out and they're just going to come out and sort of come in like that. And then these bits are going to open up to bring out the legs. So. Let's open these bits up here like that. Pull these legs out like that. Close it up. Same on the other side. Like that. Bring these bits out. Like that. Close them in like so. Close them together like that, and then these bits will kind of come into this middle section here. So let's let's rotate this around. I think. So these bits open up, like that to be the feet, and yeah, so then you want to fold them in like that, fold these round like that, looks like these are then going to click back into place here as they were. Same on this side here, so fold this one out. So you sort of fold out and towards you. Move this bit back in to that position there. And then bring them out like that. Fold them out. So peg it all back again on this side so on the inside of here you just want to peg it all back in make sure it all lines up same with this one here as well make sure it all lines up there we go and then push these bits 
back together like so. Oh, come on. There you go. And these bits should slide in like so, like that. <clears throat> Just making sure these bits are back pegged in together like that just to make the leg a little bit more secure like that and then you can just kind of see how the leg works here you've got like a tilt here and very strong ratchets and movement either side so that's how the leg's gonna work like that I think you can then You've then got this kind of motion in here where you can move it backwards and forwards as well. So um, then what we do is we'll connect it up so you can see how it all looks. So for that I'm going to bring in this guy here. So I'm just going to bring it out here. So here are the existing members all combined. So you've got one, two here. And then I think it's three and four, I think. And then you want to get hold of this bit here. You've got the pegs underneath here, which will go into there. And that should peg into there, like so. Let's peg it in that way and then rotate it around. So then bring this out a second. You've kind of got them stood up like that. And so obviously you'll have a leg on the other side and that. So he's not as big as Combiner Wars Devastator, but uh, about the same size or a little bit bigger than the unique toys Auden, um, maybe slightly bigger than Toy World's Throttlebot Combiner as well. But yeah, he looks pretty good so far. The arms are quite chunky. Uh, one thing I did notice on him is, if I just move the camera up a second, then I can show you. Even that's not quite. So let's bring this up a second. Is on this bit here it is like a bit that comes up and that doesn't hold in very well but the ratchet themselves seem pretty strong but that bit there oh it's held there but it doesn't there um, yeah and this bit here kind of gets in the way a little bit of the, the knee if you don't want to do any articulation, moving it out that way slightly. And yeah, I don't know where you're gonna get the bend in. You can kind of get a bend that way, but nothing forward and backwards um, from what I can see. Um, also, you need to wait for the other one to come out and perhaps some detailed instructions on them. But the arm, the legs themselves, pretty ratchety and strong. These bits are a little bit fiddly, they don't seem that strong, so these seem quite loose, these connector ports here. Um, which is the same thing with the arms, which I mentioned. So potentially you could tighten them up, there's a screw there. The leg one I don't think you can tighten up anywhere. But yeah, so far so good. Um, I'll be posting reviews of the other guys once they become available. Uh, that's it for now, thanks for watching. Bye-bye, wave. Bye-bye.